and I think I'm doing okay. So welcome in. You have clicked by Just Stamp with Anna Marie. Today I'm going to pre be presenting a full card class featuring the Unbounded Love bundles. So I'm using both the bundles, the images and the beautiful sentiments. I'll share with you a little bit more as we go along. We are going to be making four cards today. If you would like the projects sent to you for free, all you need to do is place any $40 order in my online store using this host code. So $40 gets you the card projects that I'm presenting today um, delivered directly to you in your mailbox for free. So. If you have any questions as I'm going along, please ask and please post a comment. Let me know you have stepped in. I would love to hear from you. All right, so today's class, as I said, is centered around the Unbounded Love Suite and also Stampin' Up's new In Color colors um, for 2024 to 26. So we have Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Peach Pie, Summer Splash, and Shy Shamrock. That one's hard to say. Um, all of these colors are included in today's card kit because it is also based on the beautiful Unbounded Beauty Designer Series paper. So these, this is the paper to be used in today's projects. I'm just gonna share with you how nicely this fits with those colors. So we have all the pretty patterns in those new in colors, some florals, and you can see the A side. So six different patterns, one, two, three, four, five. Am I missing one? <laughs> I think I am. I think there's one more very similar to this one. That's the same. Goodness. Sorry about that. Let's see what pattern I'm missing. Ah one of my featured patterns. There we go. So six floral patterns. This one's not so floral, it's more of a background. However, when you flip over, you have the great backgrounds, tone on tone, petunia pop, pretty in pink. Uh oh, I think I have a duplicate in here. That's what happened. Um, the summer splash, there's my duplicate. So I did have it already. There we go. So I'm using all of the papers today in class, and your card kit will include any of the designer series paper, any of the cardstock that you need, any of the ribbon that's being used. What it will not include is the images. You will need to either have the Unbounded Love and Flowers of Beauty stamps, or you can substitute with something that you might have on hand. Now, today I'm also going to be using the coordinating glimmer paper. So we have this really fun glimmer paper in the in colors, the pretty in pink, shy shamrock, summer splash, peach pie, and petunia pop. That is the glimmer paper that coordinates with this year's new in colors and the designer series paper. All right, so we got that squared away. Are you ready for card number one? So card number one is a quick and simple birthday card featuring the peach pie cardstock. And I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of uh, tips, some techniques, and I'm gonna be calling out some tools that we need for creating these cards. So. The background, the base, the card base is in peach pie. It is five and a half by eight and a half. By the way, if you decide you'd like this class, you'll get the PDF with all the exact measurements. You also need a piece of basic white, and this measures three and a quarter by four and three quarters. We need a piece of the designer series paper with that peach pie background. There's the flip side. This paper measures three by four and a half. We need a small swatch. Actually, it's three quarters of an inch by four and a quarter of the peach pie texture. And on the flip side, there's a pretty petunia pop and looks like a summer splash pattern. 
So those are the basics. We're also going to need one of the labels from the Unbounded Love stamp set. Now, I want to call this out. The, one of the best things about this suite, in my opinion, is the die set, the Unbounded Love dies. These are great labels. Um, I love all the shapes. Some of them are just the borders of the shapes. I wanted to share that with you. Some of them have the full solid cut, and some of them have just the frame. So there's all these different shapes to mix mix and match. I'm choosing to use just the basic rectangular label. It's a solid label with the nice dotted stitching on around the perimeter. And then I'm going to be asking as well, I have two die cuts to decorate in the glimmer paper. I've cut one in the Shy Shamrock and one in the Summer Splash. So we'll talk about which one we should use as I come up to that step. So let's get started on creating this fun, quick and simple birthday card. It is a birthday card. I'm gonna fold and burnish. So here is my tool number one, that's a must have, is my bone folder for burnishing. And while this cardstock has been scored at four and a quarter, the bone folder really helps give you that nice crisp fold. So you wanna have a bone folder in your stash we are going to be layering the pattern paper on the basic white cardstock. And with that, I'm gonna be using my favorite adhesive, which happens to be multi-purpose liquid glue. It is so forgiving. It's the most economical for me. And it, to me, it's the easiest to manage as long as you use it sparingly. If you go right up to the edge, you're gonna get a messy, sticky, a sticky mess. Um, so you can see I go about a, an eighth to a quarter of an inch from the perimeter and I just use a small trail. I don't use too much. I don't want it to be oozing out when I adhere it and press to adhere. So this one has a slightly bigger border than my original. So I have my original here to kind of guide me. You're gonna see this one has a lot more white and this one has a thinner border. I will say this one is cut for the easy peasy measurements. This is the quarter measuring system. This one has eighths and a lot of uh, crafters get a little bit nervous with that eighth and 16th measurements. So I kept it simple, just went with the quarter quarter me measurements. So by that, I mean like three, three and a quarter, four and three quarters, no eighths. All right, so this is going to be attached to my card base and I'm gonna be using the Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm using stamp, a standard size and it just gives some depth to your card or your project. I go through quite a few Stampin' Dimensionals as I'm crafting. There are two sizes that Stampin' Up! produces, the standard size and the minis, and I use them both on all my projects. I love the minis, I love the standard size, so you need both. This is just going to be centered, so you're gonna have about between a fourth and a half inch border all the way around. Next, I'm gonna add that die cut, that glimmery die cut. So I was hoping to get a little bit of interaction here to get some recommendations. This is Summer Splash, and it's a little bit brighter. This is the Shy Shamrock, and Shy Shamrock is what I used on my original, so maybe for this one I'm going to go with the Summer Splash. And to adhere that, I am going to just apply a little bit of liquid glue on the back. Now, I'll tell you what I like to do when I have these detailed die cuts. First of all, there are a few little hanging pieces in there that I'm going to use my take your pick tool. So this is another tool that I would recommend for your stash. So if you're thinking you might like this class and you're wondering what to order, if you um, don't have some of these tools, you might add them to your cart. You don't need to worry about the designer series paper or the cardstock in this case because it's going to be included in your kit. 
if you like my color scheme, you will want the ink pads as well as a couple other things that are particular to this class. So I'm kicking out those extra pieces with my take your pick tool. What's cool about the take your pick is that it has several tips. It's got that piercing tool. It also has like a little spatula tool. And on this particular one, I also like that little gummy adhesive tip that'll pick up small things for me. So I've pulled out my silicone mat. This is another great tool to have um, when you're using liquid glue and you have detailed die cuts because if you have any liquid glue that comes off onto your paper, you're not gonna have a sticky mess. It's just gonna peel right off on your silicone mat. So use that as a background as you're applying glue into just, and I'm going through the wider bits, so you can, hopefully you can see there are other solutions to using the liquid glue, and I'll show you that on one of the upcoming projects. All right, so I've just added a little bit of liquid glue. Now I'm gonna take my silicone mat away. I don't wanna put my cardstock down on that. And I'm gonna add my shimmer. That's like the wow on the card. It's just a, a die cut that was previously cut from the Flowers of Beauty dies. You can see all of the great dies in this coordinating bundle. Some of them are outline dies and some of them are detail dies. And you can see there's the little spray that I cut that glimmer paper out of. And I think I've used all of these dies. I love the outline dies, but I also like those extras, the detail dies and the flower dies. You have a larger posy and a smaller one and you get several on one cut. So super cool the way that was designed. All right, so let's keep going. I'm gonna add my strip of ribbon, which in this case is actually cardstock. It measures four and a quarter across and about three quarters wide. I am going to snip that at an angle, make it look a little bit more like ribbon using my paper snips. So I'm just gonna come down here, take from the corner, angle up, and this is going to be attached liquid glue. Again, not too much. You don't want to have a sticky mess. And I'm going to put it starting at the fold, coming across. There we go. And that's going to be attached down there. Next, we have our stamping to do. Make sure that dries down. We are going to be stamping our happy birthday greeting, and I have already mounted this stamp. It comes from the unbounded bundle, and there's my happy birthday. I mounted this on block C, so if you're new to uh, stamping or you haven't been stamping for a while, all the new stamps need an acrylic block. Whether they're cling or whether they're photopolymer, you need the blocks. The other thing I like to have in particular for this photopolymer stamp is a piercing mat to stamp on. I'm gonna bring in my die from the Unbounded Love dies. I previously die cut that. And I'm gonna be stamping in the new in color called peach pie. I love the way all the in colors coordinate together. You can use them all on the same project. They don't always do that every every year. This year they do. And I am just inking up, I should show you. When I ink up, I tap, tap, tap. I don't smush because I'll get too much ink or ink in places I don't want it if you press down too firmly. And I'm now I'm going to press down firmly on my die cut. It's cut from basic white. And there's my happy birthday. I'll set that aside. This is going to be mounted on my card base. Again, with dimensionals. And so I'm going to bring in some minis. And I'm going to put it on three corners. So these are the minis. I love this size for getting into small pieces of cardstock or paper. And I'm just gonna use several on the corners. Right, like so, all right. And 
This is just gonna be adhered and pressed down. And we're almost done. The next thing I wanna do is add some embellishments. Let's see if I can find my embellishments. So these are, you can see I've been using quite a few of these. These are the 24, 26 in color shimmer gems. And for this card, I'm gonna use maybe some of the summer splash. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool again. And I'm gonna add three. So embellishments are always nice in threes. It's kind of flipped. Or as I should say an odd number. So if you don't do three, you might go up to five. And that one just, oh, I think I lost my dot. Yep, I can see a little mini glue dot. The, uh, uh, I think I'm gonna have to abandon this idea. Let's do this. And I'm gonna put a little dot of liquid glue there. And I'm gonna bring in my embellishment that just lost its glue dot and plop it right down there. Has it ever happened to you? Some of the glue dots attach or stay stuck on the little adhesive sheet or that acetate sheet. And uh, it's hard to attach them without that glue dot. So you can see this time I just used my nail, but this is the one of the bigger ones. I'm just gonna plop it there. And so now I've got my three and I like to lay them in a triangle so one two three there is my quick and simple happy birthday card in peach pie using i've got both shimmer papers going on here I've got summer splash and shy shamrock so there we go there's card number one in our four cards in this class let's see i'm going to bring in card number two let me make way and here we go. You can see I'm using now the Petunia Pop. And I'm still using that Summer Splash. So let's get started with, with what I need for this card. And again, I will be calling out the measurements. So on this card, Here's what we need. I've got my dies in place because this one, I'm gonna be doing my die cutting right in front of you. So the card base on this one is a little bit different. This one is at four and a quarter by 11. It's still half a sheet, but it's cut the other orientation and I haven't scored that yet. So I'm gonna bring in another one of my go-to tools, my Stampin' Trimmer. Stampin' Ups is the best. It cuts and scores. It's got both blades. It's got an extended arm if you've got an extra long piece of paper to go beyond the six inches. I, however, want to score right at five and a, five and a half, which is half of the 11. And I have to be careful. I'm gonna push that cutting blade into the little garage area so it's out of the way. And I'm gonna score with the scoring blade, which is the light gray and just press down. Now I have that nice score line that helps my paper fold without crackling. So again, I'm gonna bring in my bone folder and go corner to corner, burnish down. And so this one's gonna open up this orientation. The fold is at the left. So I'm gonna bring in Petunia Pop cardstock. This is cut at four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And this layer is going to go on a little bit wonky. I'm going to use again my flat adhesive and I'm just <clears throat> going to apply it about a quarter of an inch from the border and a little bit in between. Notice I don't overdo it. I do not want a sticky mess. And this one, like I said, it's wonky, so it's a little bit askew. That's what we're shooting for. 
And I also have the same size in the pattern paper from the Unbounded Beauty paper. This uh, DSP measures four and three quarters by three and a quarter, exact same size as the Petunia Paw. This one, however, I am going to place with dimensionals. I want to add that dimension. I'm gonna put them on all four corners. I think that the dimensionals that, that add height just make your project look a little bit more polished. Still a handmade project or card, um, but it just steps it up a little bit. This one is pretty much going to be straight. So I can see my Petunia Pop cardstock peeking out in the corners there. I'm next gonna add a small uh, piece of ribbon, and I'll tell you where I got this ribbon from. This is in the Petal Pink and White Diagonal Trim Combo Pack, and it has Pretty in Pink, let's open this up, and Basic White. Now you can see I've used quite a bit of the Basic White, not so much as the Pretty in Pink. I can tell that's pretty much how it's gonna go on this combo pack. I love the width, I love the weight, the way it, uh, ties easily. I think right now it is unorderable. That's how uh, special it is. It's already sold out, but it will be back in stock. All right, so then to secure the ribbon on directly onto my cardstock, I'm going to use a couple of mini glue dots. Oh, you know what? I'm going to make it easy on myself and just use a bit of tear and tape. So this might be a little bit easier than mini glue dots. And I'm just going to, <laughs> going to go ahead and attach that straight down. And again, I'm going to look for, I take your pick tool and I'm going to remove the protective covering on that tear and tape, add my ribbon across. There we go. All right, so next I'm gonna to need to do some die cutting and some stamping here. You can see I am going to be stamping a couple of the posies from the Flowers of Beauty. I'm gonna do the outline and the fill. This is two-step stamping. There's a term for it. There you go. It's two-step stamping, and I'm gonna be stamping one posy in Pretty in Pink and one in Petunia Pop. So for that, I need a piece of scrap paper. And again, I need my piercing mat. And I'm trying really hard not to lose anything already. Okay, so this is a photopolymer stamp. I think I mentioned that already. So it's really helpful to have the piercing mat right underneath. Now I'm gonna be stamping an outline and the fill in the same color. So not only are we doing two-step stamping, we are stamping off. So that's another technique here. Two-step stamping is the easiest way to color your images. And what I like to do, and this is just a matter of preference. I have mounted my stamps on the same block. This is block H. I have my outline and I have my fill. And I'm going to do first my Petunia Pop flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink up, tap, 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 and I'm going to stamp down. And, oh my gosh, that flower is so pretty. Then I'm gonna flip it over and use that solid image, the fill, for my second step, but this time I am going to stamp off. Then I'm going to align this right over top of the outline and let's see if I can bring this in a little bit better for you. It's fairly simple to do when you have a photopolymer stamp. I'm gonna stamp down and get my color. And there we go, we have a colored flower. Now I am gonna be using this again for Pretty in Pink, but I believe I'm also going to be stamping. I'm not, I'm not gonna put it too far, I'll put it there. And I'm looking for my chamois because I do need to clean my stamps. Right now they have residual pretty in, or sorry, petunia pop. I'm gonna be stamping in pretty in pink, so I don't know how that ink 
on my stamp. I'm going to bring back in my basic white cardstock and I'm going to come over to my pretty in pink and I'm doing the same process. Two step stamping again. I'm going to start with my outline with the full inking. So tap, tap, tap. And I'm going to stamp down. And so I have my outline. Next, I'm going to do my color fill. So I'm going to ink up a second time on the solid image. I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to stamp directly onto the same image with my outline. And again, you can see right through, and it's not critical if it's exact. So look how pretty those flowers look in those two tones. Super fun. Um, stamping off and the two-step stamping are a great way to color. No color pencils needed, no blenders, no markers. Very simple to get your color on your images that way. And I am going to take the time to clean off my stamps. This With my chamois, you can see it looks dastardly, right? right? All right, I'm going to put that down. We still have some inking to do. You can see I have my greeting stamped. This one is Celebrate. It comes from the same Unbounded Love stamp set. And let's see, there we go right there. By the way, these images on, on the cover are not shown at 100%. The stamps themselves are gonna be a little bit bigger. And I am stamping onto one of the labels from the die set. And this is going to look awkward. So what I've done is taken this die. Let's see if I can bring back in my dies. Uh, so there's this die here. That's going to have these pretty detailed leaves and the border. And I am want that solid piece that's this is bordering. And so I've cut, I'm going to be cutting two. I'm going to be cutting one in Summer Splash. And I pre-cut one in white because this is what I'm going to be stamping on. So it's going to go like so. Let me stamp this here. And I'm stamping in Petunia Pop. A little bit darker coloring for the greeting. Just the word celebrate. Tap, tap, tap. I'm going to stamp down. That's not needed there. And there we go. So there is my stamping. I'm gonna be die cutting next. So let me get this out of the way. I'll close up my ink pads and I'm gonna bring in the dies. I'm going to be outline cutting that flower. And I'm gonna set myself up for also die cutting that label and that extra little pair of leaves that goes off to frame out our word. Now, on the previous card, I used liquid glue to attach that detailed die. If you remember, I put it on, I put the, the die cut right onto the silicone mat and put the glue right behind. Sometimes when we have these detailed dies and we're going to be adhering them, it's easier to use some of our adhesive sheets. So these are sold in a pack of 12, and there is the item code if you need that. And I've cut a piece that's about two inches by three and a half, the size of my cardstock. So I'm gonna peel this away, if I can get started on an edge. <sighs> this might be the biggest challenge of the class, yikes. There should be, oh my gosh. This is really hard getting in there. There we go. Okay, so I'm peeling it apart. One is just the covering and the other is the sticky. I'm interested in that sticky. I am going to back my cardstock. So I'm just gonna put it right up to the edge. Peel away and adhere that. And now I'm going to die cut. So I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. And by the way, I believe 
this is totally mini compatible, this bundle. In other words, you can use your mini. It, all the shapes will fit on this platform size. And here's what I'm doing. All right. Hello, Sandy. I just noticed you are watching. I'm so happy you could join. All right, so here we go. Summer Splash. I'm going to cut my frame my frame with those pretty leaves. I'm, so I'm putting that right there. Now look at this. We can also get that little pair of leaves right in there. And so now we're going to get a two for one, everything with the backing. So we're not going to have to use that liquid glue. And I'm just going to crank this through. Pretty simple. And... I still have a little bit more die cutting to do, so I'm gonna peel this away. And, oops, I'm losing a little leaf, so you have to be gentle with this. Don't just rip it off like I was about to do. Okay, so let's see if I can peel this away. And I have another solution here. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, I've got my take your pick tool back. This time I have the brush attachment and I have my die. I'm gonna, and I have the sponge that is part of the brush attachment. And I wanna push that out without tearing my little leaves. So I'm gonna use my both my brush and my piercing tool so I can push that out. This is really detailed. And so by the way, if you do want this free project kit, the stamping will not be done for you. I will give you all the paper cardstock that you need, but the anything that needs to be die cut or stamped from this bundle will not be done for, for you, but you will have the supplies to do it. So let's pull this off. And I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna be too forceful and let's see if I can get that that piece out and actually I think when I peel the backing away it'll kick out these small pieces so I'm not going to take the time to do that now nor with the frame what I'm going to go back to is my die cutting because I still need to cut the little posies that we stamped. So here's an outline stamp. No fussy cutting required on this. I'm going to do it this way so you can see, hopefully, right in through here. And so I have my platform three, cutting plate two, paper, die, cutting plate two. I prefer to use platform three to cut. It solves a problem. Sometimes there's a battle with the cut and emboss machine and getting it cranking through. Sometimes it's a little fussy. If you use platform three, the gray one, and I, actually I think there are two grays, you want the number three. It is so much more cooperative. And I can see I'm moving that around a little bit, so I'm gonna start again, just to get a clean, cleaner cut. There we go. And let's crank that through. So if you're joining me today, it's a little bit longer of a class. We're making four projects. This is a full card class, kind of like what I would do in person. And you get it free, free with a $40 online purchase. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring back in my card and let's get cracking on putting this together. So I'm gonna start by adhering my white piece. And let's see, again, liquid glue. So I've got two of these die cuts, one in basic white and then one in summer splash. And we're gonna put that pretty little frame with the 
two leaves. And remember, we just use the adhesive sheet so that I don't have to apply liquid glue. And let's see if this is gonna work for me. I had a friend mention that uh, things always go wrong on video, right? It's always so easy crafting without a camera looking over my shoulder. But this is how you get to see. See how easy that is. Now when I get to, it is a little bit sticky, so you have to be careful here. When I get to the leaves, see how nicely it pulls out most of those little hanging chad pieces. There's one little piece stuck in there still, but it's not gonna show, so I'm not gonna be bothered. Now this is gonna fall right into place, right like so, and I'm gonna try and push the shape of that border back. I've got the white to guide me. I think it's a little bit stretched. Let's see if I can fix that getting there, right? Okay, so next I have the little leaves that go atop. And so if I can get this started and pull the adhesive sheet off here and look, oh, it didn't quite take them all. Let's get my piercing tool back and poke out these little residual pieces. Sometimes you get lucky and they all come falling out when you remove the adhesive sheet backing. Right now I have a little bit of sticky on my fingers, but much easier than applying liquid glue, right? Do you agree? And, and I'm gonna put this in this direction. There we go. So we are almost there. We just need to add our little focal point posies. And I'm gonna put that in place there. And I'm gonna kind of guesstimate this one I want coming out this way and you guessed it, I'm going to be adding these with dimensionals, maybe just a couple of minis. I'm trying to make sure I keep pushing this into position for you. So this is gonna go right here, and I'm trying to be careful not to cover up my greeting. And then this one's gonna come in place down here, and maybe three minis. And I'm trying to avoid double stacking the dimensionals so we don't have too much bulk. Right now, this card should go through the US Post with just one standard first class stamp. I have no clue what standard postage is right now. And what I'm looking for are my ribbon scissors right here. I'm just gonna trim up this little edge at an angle and we are ready to go except I'm making a mess on here up here except for my embellishments so I'm going to bring back in those in color shimmer dots and I'm going to use my let's see I want a little bit of contrast I'm going to use the pretty and pink dots and well Let's see if I can do it a little bit easier here. And again, I'm gonna go in threes. And I, I believe these dots are unavailable right now, but you will want to get them when they come back. They are super pretty. Both of the in color embellishments are really pretty. And there we go, there's card number two. Celebrate in Petunia Pop and Summer Splash. Pretty in pink, I love the color combo. Those are all in color, in colors, and it's a quick and simple layout. So this could easily translate to almost any uh, stamp set or theme. So there's card number two. We've got four cards to go on this class, so let me keep going. And this one is a little bit different. Again, I'm making a mess here. Let me try and clean up just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna show you my card, and then I'm gonna take a break, take a sip. All right, and let's see. 
Well, thank you, Corinne, and thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. I love it when you, sh you share the video with a friend you think might be also be interested, and thank you for the kind words as well. So here is a monochromatic almost with a little pop of color um, and a little bit of texturizing, kind of like the vintage style. I've done some distressing on it. And this features another new color. This is called Basic Beige. It's not an ink color. It is now one of the neutrals, Basic Beige, and I'm using the cardstock and the ink. So let's get started with this quick and simple sympathy card. So again, what I love about the Unbounded Love stamp set are the great sentiments and those beautiful dies that we have. So let's see here, and I'm looking around, make sure I have everything ready to go. So my card base begins with eight and a half by five and a half, and this one I pre-scored at the four and a quarter inch mark. I'm gonna take my bone folder and again, fold that down. And there we, there's my card base. I have another piece of basic beige. And let's see, I didn't write down the measurements. Let's see if I can find it. Four and a half by three and a quarter. We are going to be stamping on this piece. So I'm gonna put that aside. And we're going to be using basic beige ink. So it's kind of like a Sahara sand, I think. You're gonna see. All right, so then I'm stamping with one of the sprays from the Flowers of Beauty. I'm using the one with the outline here. It's a nice tall spray of leaves, greenery. And this I have on the acrylic block eye, which I have a stinking feeling is one of the ones that they retired. So, oops, sorry about that. They Stampin' Up! retired about three of the acrylic block sizes, and I'm sad to see it go because I like having a block that's very close to the size of the stamp. So what I'm doing right now is looking around, trying to find my pierce mat because this is going to require some stamping. And you know how I feel about the stamping on with acrylic stamps. Here we go. And on this one, you can see what I did. I put a little piece of scrap paper around my mat to protect it because sometimes when you're inking up, the image is gonna fall off the cardstock and you don't want it stamping on the piercing mat because then you have to clean it, it it's untidy. So I'm gonna be stamping tone on tone. Remember, I've got basic white cardstock. Here's my basic white ink pad. And I'm going to be stamping with this tall spray of leaves. I'm gonna start here kind of in the middle with the tallest ink down. And so you can see how pretty the tone on tone with basic beige looks. This one comes at a slight angle. And then I'm gonna ink up a third, coming in at a, a little bit lower and at an angle. And then one last one, another tall, again, slightly different angle. So it kind of looks like a field of greenery. It's a beautiful stamp set with all those florals. So I'm done stamping. What I do wanna do now is add some of my die cuts which I pre-die cut, there's a tall spray in the die set, and I die cut two of those, again, in basic beige. So I pre-did this so you wouldn't have to watch me die cutting. But again, this will fit on the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm gonna bring out all my dies at the same time. So let's get rid of this. We're done, well, we're not quite done stamping yet, but let's bring this out here. There are my two die cuts of those tall sprays. That's basic beige. I have one of my labels from my Unbounded Love. This is the nice one with the solid center. Remember, some of them are just the frames and some of them have the solid. And then I also die cut some of those cute little posies that come on a strip. <laughs> uh, and I love that you get multiples on that. 
So there we go. That's what's been die cut. So I die cut the, sm the small posies and that tall spray of greenery. In this case, it's basic beige. And let's see, I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. Push this to the side. We are going to be adhering these directly to our basic gray. So it's tone on tone. And I'm going to flip these over and apply my liquid glue. A great mess and again what I could have done was used my adhesive sheet and let's there we go just to get it started I did a little tap I think it was a viewer who suggested my tapping to get that glue flowing I'm so appreciative because it has worked so often I used to get kind of frustrated when the glue wouldn't come flowing and with that little tap 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 it seems to open up the little nozzle to release some liquid glue and I'm putting both or sorry I'm putting glue on both of the sprays sometimes my mind jumps ahead in my thinking before I get a chance to talk so and I trying to finish my sentence before I move on to my next thought. Does that happen to you? I feel like my attention span is shortening. And so I'm just taking my time to put it on the wider bits. I do want to make sure that this is secured down because you don't want it falling off or rubbing against the envelope when you go to push this into an envelope. So there we go. We have our two sprays. And I'm going to add this to, now I'm going to, I do not want to get sticky, so I'm going to bring this in here. And I'm going to bring one so it goes up and over, and it's kind of to the left. And the second one, I'm going to put it at an angle coming in from the right. Hopefully you can see. There we go. Oh, I should have done one step. I did this. Uh, as I was making the card originally, it's okay. It's always okay. I'm going to snip off. You can kind of see that die is a little bit longer on the bottom. I like it peeking on top, but not on the bottom. So I'm going to snip off. So snip, snip. There's a couple of reasons I'm going to snip off because it would have been much easier to do my distressing before I added my die cuts, but no worries. It's all good, right? Okay, so to do my distressing, there's a couple ways you could do it. I happen to have this handy dandy tool. So this is my little toolkit. It has my extra attachments that belong to the take your pick tool, which by the way, this little accessory kit is super cool as well. It's got the hook, another pokey tool. It's got the blade to do some perforations. And there's one more. It has an X-Acto knife. Now that is for the take your pick and this is still available. What I'm using to distress is another toolkit that is from my history. Oh my gosh, I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator nearly 24 years. And over my career I have accumulated lots of tools that I love. One of them was this little chain of all kinds of tools and what I'm going to do is take my distressing tool right here and you just kind of it's got little grooves in there in that wheel and if I just drag it along the edge of the cardstock it distresses the edges. It kind of sets it off with a little nicer border and here's why it would have been better <laughs> to do this before I put my die cuts on, as I said. But no worries, I can still do it. I'm just going to be gentle when I get to the tall bits of this little spray of leaves. In fact, I've got some tricks. I just flip it over so I'm still, I don't have to run into that tall die cut. And then the sides that don't have any die cuts are still easy enough to do. So I love this little toolkit. So word to the wise, 
when you see a cool tool set, purchase it, hold on to it because you are going to love it for years to come. And Stampin' Up! is infamous for introducing lots of cool tools and then they go away. So you wanna make sure that you get in on the, the offering while it's available instead of trying to chase it down at that little resale site that's gonna charge you an arm and a leg to do that. So there we go. I'm happy with it. I could have done a better job if I hadn't attached my die cuts, but no worries. The next thing I'm going to do is add my twine. So this is my ribbon on this project. And what I'm using is the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. There is this cool color here. It's kind of like a crumb cake color, I believe. And I'm gonna need quite a bit of this because I double wrapped it. So I'm taking this off the spool and I'm taking about 28 inches. So that's enough to go around twice and have a nice floppy bow. And I do like to use my ribbon scissors. All right, so I'm gonna put that in place and then I'm gonna bring in my next helper here, mini glue dots. When I'm tying a bow, that is my third hand. Those mini glue dots, I'm gonna wrap twice. I'm gonna give a little bit more. I think I was extra generous with that snippet of twine. And so that I get a nice tight, tight twine, what I'm gonna do is put a little mini glue dot there. So just come in with my take your pick, grab a dot, and remember to keep your sticky fingers out of those dots because they will become even stickier if you come in contact with that mini glue dot. The glue dot always wins. That's just the way things go. All right, now I'm gonna tie my bow and it's gonna be a nice floppy bow. And so, and I actually cut it long enough so I wouldn't have to struggle with the tying. There we go. I love this color on the basic beige. It looks really nice. And I love the, the essentials twine, really nice. All right, so now I am ready to put it on my card base. And you guessed it, it goes on with Stampin' Dimensionals. So let's go take it away. I'm gonna put some on each corner. So your card kit will include the cardstock, the designer series paper, the twine. It won't include uh, any stamped images or any die cuts that were cut with the Unbounded Love bundle or suite. All right, so I've got those in position. I'm just gonna remove the backing. And another thing too, if you would like this card kit, you do need to use the host code so that I know you want the card kit. And I've got an equal border all the way around. And next what I need is my nice little label that says my heart goes out to you. So let me bring in my piercing mat. There's my label that was pre-cut. This is from the designer series paper pack. That, that's a pretty side too, right? This is Petunia Pop. I am going to stamp in Petunia Pop ink right onto the die. So my heart goes out to you. Um, so this greeting set has the greetings you need the birthday, the sympathy, the love. Um, so many greetings. I know for myself, I tend to need birthday cards, sometimes congratulations or celebration cards, and sadly, lots of sympathy cards often. So that's tone on tone on that DSP. What do you think? I, I love the little scalloped oval greeting. This is going to be placed in position with dimensionals. So let me grab a couple of dimensionals and I'm gonna put one at the top and one at the bottom so that it skips over the twine without uh, 
it having to struggle to stay attached. I'm going to move that pretty bow and bring this in here. And now we're going to put our cute little posies into position. And here's how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to add a tiny drop of glue where I want a little posy. And I get so many on that die cut that I'm going to use a lot of them. I don't even think I'm using all of the ones that come off the die. Then, let's see if I've got, let's see. The take your pick. Pick up the posy, drop it right onto the glue dot. Just make sure you keep your little paws out of the glue drops that you put down so you're, they don't become sticky. And see how cool this Take Your Pick tool is? I have several because I love all the attachments and I love having it ready to go without having to swap them out. So there we go. So let's see, I've used one, two, three, four, five. Hey, what do you know? My odd, my odd numbers, sometimes it works. All right, next, um, instead of using embellishments, I am going to use the copper metallic enamel effects basics. So this is a trio of accessories or embellishments. One is metallic gold metallic copper, metallic silver, and I'll show you where this is. Uh, let's see if I can find my new caddy. All right, so I did mark some of the pages. Oh, look at that. I marked the Unbounded Beauty page. We're using quite a few of those things. And then I also marked where you can find the metallic enamel effects. Now you can see I'm pointing down here with my thumb. The description doesn't tell you a lot. It tells you the product, the item number, and the price, but it doesn't tell you what colors are included. So there's copper, gold, silver. I took it upon myself to just add to my catalog so I can remember. Now I also know, though I haven't found them yet, and maybe somebody can help me out, let me grab it. Another one of the enamel effects that I liked, the prolized enamel effects had, or I believe it's still there, black, real red, and prolized. And so let me check. Maybe I just saw that just a second ago. Let's see if the prolized is on here. I think it's actually on two pages. So let's see. Well, yeah, they are there, Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics. There's your item code and the price. So that one's 15, that's 310 and 610. So they're both still in the catalog and I'm grateful for that because these are a great little solution for adding your pop of pizzazz without using an adhesive back embellishment. And all I'm gonna do is take my little tip. Whoops, that one's kind of squirted out. Make a little dot. And here's the thing, it takes a little while to dry, so you do not want to stack anything on top of this. Mm, I would give it a little while. You could help it along with the heat gun or the heat tool. Um, the other thing I'm using on this one little embellishment. These are my favorites. The brushed, brushed brass butterfly. I say that three times. I can't. And if you don't have the butterflies, perhaps you have the dragonflies and birds. So either one of these brass embellishments would work. I chose just one little butterfly. I'm going to use my fingers and voila. <laughs> There you go. There is our third card. My heart goes out to you. A really nice sympathy card. So, so far we've had a birthday, a celebrate, and a sympathy. And this was the one I previously did, so I can stack it. I'm not going to stack anything on that one yet. We're going to do one more card. This is card number four. And what would a card class be without a fun fold, right? So this is a very easy fun fold. Um, what I like about this, see it's got that double 
panel and it stands easily and it's easy to figure out how you fold it, how you open it. Sometimes you have a fun fold that takes um, a little bit of knowledge on how to refold that um, card. Another good aspect of this is it's going to fit right into your standard size envelope. So let's get started with this one. Again, I have pre-cut and pre-scored some of it, not all of it. Our card base is a standard card base, eight and a half by 11. We need a piece of pretty in pink that measures four inches by six. We need two pieces of basic white that measure, let's see, one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So here's that eighth inch measurement, but it's okay. It's done for you in the kit, so you don't have to worry about it. We have one DSP, that pretty in pink DSP, that measures four, sorry, five and three eighths and one and seven eighths. So there's our pieces. We also need some dies, die cuts, that we'll be doing, using in just a couple minutes. So this card base, I pre-scored it. One, one of the scores is at four and a quarter, so that's standard, right? on a five and a half by eight and a half, right down the middle is four and a quarter. And then the front panel was scored in half again, which would be two and an eighth, and it's gonna go the opposite direction. So I'm folding and burnishing on the score lines. So there's our card base. Now I'm going to have to score the, the double, the base, the double Z, this is four by six, I'm gonna get my trimmer, and we are going to score, <laughs> always upside down. We're gonna score at two, so this is the long side, the six inch side, and I'm using the scoring blade. Two, push it up, and score again at six. Sorry, at four. <laughs> two and four, oh my gosh. It's, I'm flustered because I typically do one project for you. Today I'm doing a whole class. All right, so let's Z fold this, so back and forth. So that's gonna be one. I'm gonna go opposite direction and I'm going to burnish and come back opposite direction and again burnish, so. Pretty simple, there we go. So we've got, it's the same fold, right? We've got two, we've got the basic white and we have the pretty in pink. We're going to go ahead and add our panels to our card bases. So let's start with that pretty in pink. I've got basic white that goes on the outside and on the insert. And again, this is with liquid glue. So about an eighth of an inch from the edge. So use it sparingly, don't go too heavy handed. And we're gonna have a, a wee, a wee border, so by that I mean like a 1 16th of an inch. It's a wee border. And repeat for the insert. There we go. And goes on the insert. 1 16th of an inch border and I'm just checking I'm already over an hour we're almost there I'm almost done I was trying to keep it to an hour it's always hard plus if you joined me at the very beginning I had technical difficulties but what would a Facebook live with Anna Marie be without technical difficulties <laughs> always right that's okay I keep learn. I keep learning. It's a little bit better every time, but then another glitch comes up. So who knows? All right, this one goes on the front panel, and again that wee border, one sixteenth of an inch around. There we go. Actually, it's going to be a little bit wider. Okay, so now the thing is to attach these. We're going to fold this down. I'm going to flip it over, and with it folded, I'm going to put glue on the back panel. 
and I'm gonna flip that over and it gets adhered to the center, inside center. So I'm just eyeballing, same border at the top and bottom and the same border on both sides and adhere that down. Now we're gonna stretch this open. We're gonna close the card and this is gonna be attached here, but I only want it to attach on this edge. So I'm gonna put some adhesive here and then attach that there. And we are ready to decorate and I do have my die cuts ready to go. And let's see. I have one tall spray in Summer Splash, one of the shorter sprays in Pretty in Pink, and I have some of the little posies in White and Summer Splash, and I have one of the labels from the Unbounded Love. So let's see if I can get these together here. There we go, one more. All right, so let's start by adhering the little sprays onto our card front. Grab my silicone mat. We're going to repeat the adhesive application process. And we're gonna go all the way down. You know what, before I do that, I'm gonna snip this down just a tiny bit. I know it's too long. If I can find my snips. I know it's too long. I'm gonna come right around here. There we go. And you know what's happening here is I'm not putting my things back into my organizer, which is why I'm losing things, right? Okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. Summer Splash and I'm trying to go on those wider bits again so it doesn't get too sticky. And also on the Pretty in Pink. There we go. All right, so let's get this onto our card front. I'm gonna put down the Summer Splash first, and it is gonna kind of going to fall off at the top. And then I'm gonna put my Pretty in Pink down. And this also falls off onto the side. And there is one little tiny chart in there. Let's see, there we go, fix that. All right, then we have some of those cute little posies that I'm gonna to put to position. I have a couple of Summer Splash for the inside, just to add our pop of color. And I'm gonna use my Take Your Pick to put that into position. And down here. And I'm going to be put, putting three on the front. So let's see, one around there. And I'm using my original card as my reference. So there. And there. And I have lost one little white posy, it looks like. Oh well, I can do with two, that will work. Makes me sad. Okay, then I need to stamp my greeting. So I could go with the same greeting that I have here, which is You Are Loved. And I stamped in Summer Splash. And I'm looking for my acrylic block. 
This time I'm using acrylic block H and I like it because it's nice and linear. And I'm gonna stamp on this small label. And of course I need my piercing mat. So let's see if I can fit this all in here. Put my card up here so you can see. Oh, I have two labels in case I goofed. That's, <laughs> I know myself, I, I can anticipate goofing, so. All right, this one says, have a blessed day. And I picked this one because I know a lot of people like to sign off with that. And so what I appreciate with what Stampin' Up! did using this sentiment, as I said, it's a popular way to sign off on your cards, your letters, just your text, have a blessed day. And I'm gonna stamp a little bit low. It is tight from edge to edge, but it fits. I can see right through that it fits. And voila, there you go. There is my greeting for my fun fold card with pretty and pink and summer splash. And you will have guessed that this goes on with mini dimensionals. So right on the back, I'm gonna put a couple at each end and one in the middle there we go so here we go with the final card the greeting have a blessed day and it's going to hang over just a tiny bit right like so and we're not finished right we need to embellish so oh no i embellished with the peach gems and it looks like i've used all the small ones so maybe i'll pick a different color i do have some more pretty and pink and these little flowers have a pink center whoops i just lost that i liked the the peach pie because i was able to bring in another color but the <laughs> that's what happens when you've been using and sharing the little embellishments right okay and i don't think i put any on the inside i don't want it too bulky but there is my fourth card it's a fun fold a double z fold um, featuring pretty in pink and summer splash so there are the four cards in today's card class they're all very quick and simple because we did do four so that's there and we did uh, Two-step stamping, we stamped off, we die cut, we did some distressing, lots of different techniques on today's cards. And it's using the beautiful Unbounded Love Suite. There we go. If you would like this card class delivered directly to you, your snail mail, place a $40 minimum online order using the host code. And you have until next Wednesday, which is the 22nd. So shop now through Wednesday the 22nd to get this card class delivered directly to your door. What do you think? All right. I thank you for sticking with me. I know it was a long class, four cards, four projects. And again, the technical difficulties, which I apologize for. Um, I hope that you enjoyed today's class. Please give me a thumbs up. If you're skipping by in, on the replay, please let me know you stopped by. You also have the option to go over to my YouTube channel, Just Stamp with Anna Marie, for edited versions. So you, I eliminate the chatter at the beginning of the video so you can skip directly to the project. While you're there, please subscribe and please share the word with others. I have lots of tutorials up on the YouTube channel as well. All right, my friends, I will see you next week. Uh, have a wonderful week. This is my birthday weekend, so I anticipate having a little bit of fun and seeing the wee bairn, Sally, um, and just having a great time. Enjoy your weekend. See you next time. Thanks for joining.